So normally these are not the type of conditions that you would expect to see a farming video from me. But... Surprise, motherfucker! Here, for the first time, I'm showing the multi-locational aspect of my farm. So this is not my land or my hoop house. This belongs to some farming comrades who I've been working with this season, and they've generously let me have a section of this for my vegetables, which is this right here. This is 30 inches wide by 100 feet long. And what I have growing here is carrots, baby kale, baby lettuce, and baby arugula. So normally I just grow 20 foot beds, not 100 foot beds, and normally I just grow one crop per bed instead of four crops per bed. But this is kind of an experimental thing, and so far it's working quite well. Uh, the kale and the arugula are, are really growing very fast right now, so those are the things that I'm going to be harvesting today. So I already got four pre-orders for arugula and two pre-orders for kale. So I'm going to show you how I harvest, wash, dry, and pack. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. So I just finished harvesting from the arugula and I figured I'd show you the kale because I already showed you the process for how I seed the kale and I figured I could also show how I harvest, wash, and pack the kale and get it ready for delivery. So you can kind of see the whole process of dealing with kale from start to finish. Um, so I harvest it using one of these five ounce bags, which is, this is just a bag just for harvesting. It's an important note that the clean vegetables don't go in here, just the freshly harvested ones. Make sure that cross-contamination doesn't happen. And I just use a box cutter. I find that's the easiest, most convenient way to do it. I just switch out the blades when they get dull instead of having to mess with sharpening knives. So that's how I like to do it. So here I'll show the process. I like to get whatever is the biggest leaves first and leave the small leaves behind. So yeah, they're a little bit smaller than my hand. That's the size that I like for baby kale. And being this closely packed together, you wouldn't really want to try and grow adult kale this close together, but baby kale, it's perfect. So as I mentioned, this is the bag for dirty vegetables, or not yet washed vegetables, so I don't mind putting them on the ground while I'm harvesting them, because these vegetables are about to get washed anyway. So I usually just take a few of the biggest leaves from each plant and leave the small leaves and then move on. So it's a very cut and come again method. All right, so here's a closer shot so you can actually see what I'm doing here a little bit better. So as I said, I usually like to grab the big leaves first, like this size, and leave the small ones so that way they can have a chance to grow and become the big leaves, uh, the cut and come again method. So I usually take a couple leaves from each plant and then move on to the next one. So I'll kind of scooch down here, Get some of the leaves, some of the biggest ones. Put them in the bag, scooch on down. So here's my wash pack station. I have these food grade five gallon buckets with water in them for a triple washing system. Now this water has been pre-filtered from my homestead and I brought it here. Brought them using these potable grade jerry cans and it's of course food grade buckets and it's been pre-filtered and purified using Sanidate. That's a product that a lot of professional organic market gardeners recommend using. It was kind of hard to set up the tripod in a way that you can see without being in my way. So hopefully this is good and what I'm doing makes sense. So gloves are very important. Sanitation is the most important thing. Make sure the gloves themselves are clean. And I don't want my hands to get wet, it's cold out. So I just dump the vegetables in the first bucket and swish it around in the sanidate and water mixture. 
make sure any little particles of dirt come off. Sometimes there are bugs, and this is the part where the bugs fall off. The bugs don't like cold water either. Usually it's little green caterpillars, and they just curl up and fall right off of the plants. So far I've never had an instance of bugs making it into the final product. They usually fall off right at this stage if there even are any, but I can tell there are no bugs here. Just some grains of sand and stuff like that. That's really all there is. So I just swish it around each one, move it to the other side. This is what I mean when I say triple wash. So if you're doing it, you'll notice that the first bucket will have the most sand and dirt in it. The second one will have almost none, and the third should have none at all, basically. So now that it's finished being washed, I'm gonna move over to the drying area, which is this salad spinner made by uh, Chef Master. I really like this thing. It's, it does a very good job of getting them clean. Now you gotta kinda spread them out and make sure they're not all clumped in one spot, kinda like uh, when you're using a washing machine or a dryer. So here's how this works. So as it spins, it throws the water out and it drips out the bottom. So let me actually move this over here and try not to bump into the tripod as I come over here. I bumped in it anyway. So now let's see if you can get a good angle here. So now this comes out. There we go. It makes kind of a donut shape from that shape, a healthy donut. And this is the drying rack, but it's also the examination station. So like I can really just spread out all the vegetables, all the leaves, and really look at all of them to make sure there aren't any rejects. Like this guy right here, this is not acceptable. There's little bug holes in it and it's kind of discolored too. So I make sure that every leaf is as perfect as I can get it, every single leaf. Like I'm all about quality over quantity for sure. If there was ever, if the customers ever got a bag of my greens that had some kind of bug in it or brown leaf or a wilted leaf, I would have no choice but to fall upon my katana in shame for I have brought a disgrace to my dynasty. I'm kind of joking, but I'm also kind of serious. Like I really do take pride in making sure that everything looks really, really good. And that's why the customers keep coming back. So basically I'll leave it here for a little while while I go and harvest some other vegetables. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up. One of these clean bags for the clean vegetables. And since I'm not touching the greens anymore, I can take these gloves off for a sec because I can't tie up the bag when I have the gloves on. So this is how I like to wrap it up. I just do one of these and twist it up with one X under the X tight knot and then another X under the X loose knot. Making sure it's loose so it's easy for the customer to undo it without ripping the plastic. And the second knot is really just to hold the first knot so it doesn't come off. So since I sell my greens in five ounce bags, I need to have a food grade scale to make sure that each bag is at least five ounces in there. And if it's over, like this is six and a half, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna be too uh, exact on that number. As long as it's not less than five ounces, that's the only thing that's important. And then, after that, I just put it over, I don't know if you can see the cooler over here, where I keep all the other greens. And 
that's it. I'm just gonna do this once again. Get rid of these little particles off of here. All right, so there we go, four arugula and two kale.